Hey guys, welcome to the XP Pen animation class. My name is Sebastian. I'm an animator and illustrator here to show off the biggest and best from XP Pen, their Artist 24 Pro. What is going on, X fans? We are here with another OpenTunes tutorial. Sadly, I cannot use my webcam right now. There are some complications, but otherwise, I'm just going to show you guys how to add color to this bouncing ball and then also export it to a video file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down. I'm actually going to go back to basics. I prefer the vertical timeline, so I'm, it's easier for me to make layers like this. So I'm going to do new level and tunes raster. Before we add color, I'm just going to outline this bouncing ball so we can have a nicer, less sketchy, more finished looking line. I'm going to go to ellipse like that. You can do this with the 24 Pro's pen. Which is, which is great, or you can just do this with the mouse. Yeah, so just go through and make new frames drawing over the bouncing ball with the ellipse tool. That'll give you a nice consistent line. All right, let's click this button under the ball layer right here just to hide the sketch. And now we have our finished line. So we can just hit L for loop or you can hit this little repeat button right here. So that looks pretty awesome. And now what we're going to do is I'm just going to go through and I'm going to fill with the fill bucket every single frame. So I'm actually going to let's let's make a color for this. So let's go down here to the palette right click new style let's make this ball uh, purple all you have to do to fill in color for every frame is grab the paint bucket tool grab your color and then just go through and color every just click inside the circle to color every frame all right now our animation is complete there's some settings that I want to adjust before we render so let's pause that go to X sheet scene settings this camera background color, I'm going to drag the alpha all the way to max so that it's actually white in the background instead of transparent. Next, we're going to go to render to render our animation into a video file. Output settings. I have MP4 listed here. You probably won't if you just installed OpenTunes because MP4 and GIF files do not come with OpenTunes natively. If you would like to learn how to install them, I'll leave a link in the description to a video I made about how to add the MP4 and the GIF export options in OpenTunes. The reason I'm not going over it here is because it's pretty complicated and it takes some time to set up. So for now, we're just going to use AVI. It's already named Artist24 Test. We have it selected AVI and it's going to go to the outputs folder of our OpenTunes directory. If you don't want it to go to that folder, you can just click these three dots and you can make it go to your desktop. I don't mind it being in my outputs folder. And all we have to do next is hit render. So this is pretty cool. We have our bouncing ball. Um, I did notice that something strange is happening to the ball in the background. Let's see what that is. That, did I add an effect on it? Yeah, I did. So apparently somewhere between this recording and the last recording, I added an effect that makes the, <laughs> makes the bouncing ball in the background really squiggly. So that's kind of cool. Let's try that effect on our new bouncing ball. So we're going to delete the old effect. We're going to actually click this I button on the bound on the sketch layer. That's just called ball. That way, when we when we render it, it's not there. Let's go to. So column three is our new bouncing ball. Let's name that. Let's go purple ball. And then we're going to take our purple ball in our effect schematic. And if you don't see your effect schematic isn't ordered like this. Um, by the way, I'm in the animation tab. I just clicked over. I should have. I went from basics, click to animation. There you go. This is the effect schematic where you add effects. If it's not, if it doesn't look like this, 
Like if it, if it doesn't go layers, X sheet output, just click this bottom in the corner. It might start like this for some of you. So just click this and you'll get there. Let's right click purple ball, insert effects, and go down to distort. I'm going to select linear wave. All right, let's see what that looks like when we render it. To preview your animation without rendering it, you just go to render and hit preview, or you just hit control R. I think if you hit this, yeah, if you hit this little minus button, it'll, it won't, it'll, I think it'll minimize itself and it won't show up, but you just click that and then it should show up. All right. So that looks pretty cool. Um, that, that's just one of the effects you can use in open tunes. There are tons. If you'd like to learn how to use them, I recommend going down over to my channel. I have tons of tutorials on different effects and I plan to make more in the future to render this, go back to render and then hit render or control shift R. Now, if you did everything correctly, you'll be able to go to the folder that you selected your output to be and double click it and your computer should be able to play your animation. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.